What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball just sold out. This is a 12-box case break picket scene number three. Now, again, guys, any and all non-baseball cards go to the non-baseball spot. Please, obviously, see the list below for the completed checklist for non-baseball. Uh, as it says, no veteran common ship, only rookies, inserts, short prints, etc. Ship all cards for the non baseball spot ship only. So, there you go. So, here we go, guys. <coughs> but, like, all the foil cards, technically, those are obviously like uh, kind of short prints, so those, that's the <laughs> that stuff will ship. And of course, was everybody's name there? Dustin basically sold it out, guys. Made it happen tonight. Got like the last six. Right when I announced that we had to sell it out by like nine. <laughs> He's like, I'm not letting it go that far. Also have the non-baseball spell, so I know you wanted to see this, man. Good luck, thank you. Now the non-baseball spot number two, I feel like really killed it. <laughs> so did like the Mets. So let's see. How this case is. So we'll put on the USC game actually.
That's right, baby. Back with Alan Ginter. All right, here we go, guys. First two boxes. <clears throat> we got a bent lift. The mud guy, Jim Bent lift. So it's probably going to go to the non MLB. We got a Tony Gonsolin relic for the Dodgers. Got a Dustin. And we got Bell. This box had only three relics, or at all three relics. Mandy Bell, reporter. Chapman. And we got Frank Thomas, the big hurt, mini relic, frame mini relic, White Sox, last by Mojo Dustin. Jorge Posada. It's the next two. And we got a frame mini autograph. Rookie for the Phillies. Uh, that is Derek Hall. I can't even remember if there was any Cubs hits, Rex. <laughs> Let alone big. I've never thought they would be able to do that, but that's really a lot of how you beat 
Diaz. Hilo. Oh, we got a Julio. Oh my god, he had the guy again. Juan Soto. Why are they showing this other one game? Right? On NHL Network.
All right, here we go, guys. All right, <clears throat> Trey Mancini. We got David Wright. Staley. Don Staley, player and coach. And we got a Rasmussen. Bella, high school running back. Nice box. Let's get some autos, man. I feel like we all been getting was relics minus one. Devers relic. Number from the front? Oh. Well, the good thing is that we are shipping the minis. And I think it's pretty easy to see if it's number from the front, but yeah, maybe I'll just go to the front now. I mean, I can tell right away if they were numbered from the front. It's not like I'm not paying attention to them, but I just don't see the back of them. Tucker. But thanks for that, man. Yeah, Jan said they weren't numbered in the back, but I'm like, they always number them. I, I mean, there is many numbered ones, but usually it's the back, but... Oh, what is that? Condor. But yeah, I mean, if they're in the front, then it makes it a little easier to see them, because they're always this way anyways. But the thing is that everything, everything like that would ship, so... If I did miss it, sorting team would probably catch it, and if by then... Then, uh... <laughs> you guys obviously would still get it, but...
And DeLong. Or DeJong, sorry. Jacob DeGrom. Alright. <clears throat> Another one. After these two, we're going to be halfway there, Gus. Alright. 
Yo, guys. Nice, Victor Webb and Yama. I don't know what parallel this is, but I think you get one of those in every box. <coughs> Blake Snell relic for the Padres. Victor with that one. And wow, Chris Fowler. That's sick. Love this guy. I love his play by play for college football. Love it when he calls the uh, Rose Bowl game with Kirk Kerb Street. Nice. That's Chris Fowler. It's going to Dustin in the non baseball. I also love it when he does tennis, too, actually. Him and John McEnroe are sick. Relic of Christopher Morrell. You go Rex on the board. Anderson. And Stone Street. Love him in Modern Family. Eric Stone Street. Schultz, frame mini autograph there. That uh, looks like for Arizona, correct? Yeah, Kyle Schultz. Well, oh, actually, sorry, no, not Arizona. This is just an actually professional wiffle ball player. I thought he was wearing an Arizona hat, but no, he's not. <laughs> so there you go, that's going to go to the non baseball again. Oh, did he end up winning the championship, dude? Sick. Over. Got it up the right wing to Dubois, plays it down the ice. 
chasing after it hard as Elliott with the goalie of Amelka got there. Good crowd, and the Coyotes come to center ice. Got <coughs> stood up by Bjorklund at the Kings line. Wow, one play there, the Kings. This Hamlet centering pass. Sam. Knocked away by the goalie stick. For the Mets. He gets it back. No one pass in the slot, however, is broke out. And the Kings play it ahead. Kelly will get it down. He's crying right now. It's a very emotional moment right now, man. Nola. All right, guys. Well, we're basically halfway through. Doing great on time. Just want to uh, <clears throat> top load all of these relics. I'm oh, gonna add two behind. Damn, so his kids are actually like good uh good drivers slash riders. You can stop seeing money and start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. Air conditioning, refrigerator, washer and dryer, <coughs> and more. And there's one guarantee on ownership. All right, only three autos so far in the first six boxes. So I feel like I should be getting a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we got Hank Aaron. And Paul Goldschmidt. All right, <clears throat> let's keep it going. It's funny that he named him Haley and Hayden. Huh. Nah, it would have been the last as I ever would have been to, man. Not that I don't like like anything like that, motor sport, motocross sports, or I just don't really prefer to watch it. Um, I've been to a couple like monster truck shows and stuff like that, like at Dodger Stadium and uh, Angel Stadium and stuff. But. It's probably one that's probably better to be in person for people that are you're trying to get people to like it. It's more like let's go, let's watch it. You know, if you're old enough, crack a few beers, watch it, and have fun. You know, it's like that when it comes to hockey with me and my friends. I'm watching hockey right now, it's preseason. You know, it's like, ooh, we got a we got a stained glass coming up. I think hockey, I feel like, is one sport that you gotta witness live for you to start wa wanting to watch it on the daily on TV. But when you do, man, it's so fun going in person.
Well, I don't know if you gotta buy them their tickets, but you know, if it's cheap enough, tell me, hey, man, let's go watch this racing. You know, maybe you buy one of them. I don't know. Not all of them, though. I mean, obviously, it's too expensive. At least the friends that are interested in wanting to go. All my friends that took in the hockey games, I didn't have to pay for their tickets. They were down to pay for it. Half time. All right, here we go, guys. Second half of the case right here. <clears throat> right? Dude, that's how a lot of us would be like if we got that much money at that young of an age. With Merrifield. to 199 for the Mets and Mets continue to hit Walter got him again let me know buddy if you uh, want me to rip this for you or you want to rip it yourself it's all good Thank <laughs> you. 
I appreciate that, man. Well, obviously, do what you gotta do first, take care of everything first, and then if there's extra money, then we'd appreciate that. And look at that, little mini stained glass. Tumblea. That's pretty sweet. Colorado Rockies with that one. Zachary. Greg Maddox. Rushman relic. There you go, Mike. Got the Orioles earlier today. The Rushman base. And look at that. Very nice frame mini autograph of Henry Rowan Gardner, aka Thomas Ian Nicholas. I think also as an older adult actor, he was like an American Pie, wasn't he? That's sick. Get a lot of good non-base ones. There you go, Dustin. Oh, if one person got the whole break, I'd have to rip it unless they told me they wanted ship sealed. I probably would hope they wanted ship sealed. <laughs> but no, most likely I'd still rip it because they probably bought it out because they wanted to rip, see it ripped online. Sometimes, honestly, customers rather actually buy with breakers personals because, like, I'm not that they don't want to have fun ripping this, <laughs> but it's so time consuming. They'd rather have us do it, you know? And Randy Arosa Reina, very nice one there for the Tampa Bay Rays. Kev, there you go, man. One of my favorite players, man. Love that dude. It's probably cheaper to break it with us because we probably get better discounted rates because we ship out daily. But also, too, <clears throat> if it was sealed in boxes, that'd be, that would probably weigh way heavier than, than just the cards. Like, you can kind of get away with it because of the size of the box. Either way, though, they wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. I mean, here with us, they don't have to pay shipping just yet, you know, obviously. We don't charge shipping unless you're, like, out of the state or out of the country, but... But um, it's probably cheaper to rip it and then ship just the cards, especially the ones that you want to. You know, maybe if they don't even want veteran base, then we don't have to worry about shipping that out too. Yeah. 
Fail. Foggy mode. Mookie had a great game today. Alrighty, four more boxes to go, guys. Fifty degrees outside? That's fucking cold. I mean, I run hot too. I always have to have a fan on, anyways. I'm a big dude, but if it was fifty degrees outside, then my wife probably would be like, "Nah, no fan." I'm watching my Kings preseason game. Kings and Coyotes and NHR are playing in Australia to start off the season. And it's a preseason game, so. I don't even know what time it is over there right now, but it's gotta be somewhere in the afternoon or something. But here it's nine o'clock it started. Let me see. What time is it in Melbourne, Australia? Yeah, it's 2.44, so it started at two o'clock over there in the afternoon. 
Yeah, Australia is already what? Sunday afternoon already. It's about to be three o'clock over there. Tomorrow. So when the Kings travel back to LA, they're traveling back in time. Come on, bud, Phil. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh. It's just sideways. That's all right, guys. Freaked out for a second there. <laughs> yeah, basically. They watch football on Mon Uh, Whoa, this pack only has nothing. Huh. <laughs> That pack had too many cards. I don't have only have one. But yeah, that's. I mean, <laughs> actually no. If we're watching football at 10 a.m., 1 p.m. your time, they're watching football probably like at three in the morning their time actually on Monday, right? Because it's let's say right now, right? Six hundred night football would have started at five, right? Maybe eight o'clock your time. Five o'clock here would have been like what 10 in the morning for them. So that means that. Like the one, the 1 p.m. games would have been like early morning hours for them. <clears throat> so they basically have to be like nocturnal during the during the uh, NFL season. Sleep during the day, stay awake all night. I guess wake up super super early though. Chambers. Ari right, Chambers. I'm sure there's a good amount of people that watch NFL for sure. But that's something that they're already used to, you know? <clears throat> and we've got another NEMS. So the other one had an inscription, this one didn't. The non-baseball is just murdering this break. Yeah, I feel like if anything, most of Europe and like other parts of the world are almost similar on time frame. Somewhat, I should say, maybe. But like some some of them are like eight hours ahead of us. Some of them are 
literally like you know like Australia that's way more than eight hours you know it just depends but yeah everybody's kind of used to it by now Griffin Jr. But yeah, everything else basically is... It's like when we watch F1 or yeah, if you're into rugby or if you're into like tennis, like the, when, it's in, when it's in Australia and Australian Open, you know, we're having to watch it super late or super early in the morning. Minus our American sports. Everything else is almost the same. Yeah, it's still halftime. What the hell? It's like I've been watching the Kings game for like 30 minutes already. No, it's not. Long. Well, yeah, think about it, dude. If it's already midnight for you guys over there on the East Coast. Past midnight, almost 1 a.m. And it's only, what, about to be 3 o'clock right now over there in Australia? If their games don't start till 7 p.m., <coughs> attack on four more hours. They're not playing until, like, 4 or 5 in the morning your time. So, yeah, it's, like, total opposite schedule. Corey your Relic <clears throat> For Texas Nice one there for the Marlins. Dustin. Mini framed relic. Yeah, same thing. I mean, I, don't, I just have a weird sleep schedule with my work hours. If I don't start till 2 or 3 in the afternoon, I'm not out of here till like 10 or 11, 12 sometimes the latest. So by the time I get home, well, Tani, it's like midnight. So it's like, you know, it's like me coming home at six in the afternoon, you know, from a normal nine to five. <clears throat> so I'm up to like two or three in the morning and then go to sleep, wake up like at 10, 11. And then that's my normal like eight, eight in the morning type of deal. <clears throat> from like 11 to one, <clears throat> 11 to two. Bryce right, Harper. And Aaron Judge. We 
Alrighty guys, down to the last two. And so far, I think we've literally only had one rip card. Legit, right? It's just the one rip card, the baby. And that little mini stained glass, I feel like we finally got something different. Finally picked it up on autograph, so I will say. A lot of them have been going to the non-baseball, but six autographs now. So see we can find some more rip cards really you're supposed to get i think two on average per case if i'm correct right is it two i feel like it's two the last case did have three rip cards plus the box topper rip. oh gotcha so you have the weekends off yeah, we also haven't got a hot box either yet. You're right, Rex, yeah. So, I don't know. This case is a lot different. <clears throat> I feel like by now we would have had the hot box. <clears throat> Trout. Wander Franco. <clears throat> oh, shit, really? Fuck. <laughs> I feel like you reached over the pylon. He's extending his arm. No, he's extending his arm. That's that's breaking the plane. That's a that that's a two point conversion. Can they look at that? Can they look at a two point conversion? I feel like they can, right? Man, USC's defense blows. I'm gonna text my friend right now. That's two points right there. All right, there's your hot box, Rex. Thank God. <laughs> I was kind of getting a little nervous there for a second, though. It should. I mean, that's a crucial play. Every scoring play is obviously reviewed, but... I don't know how they do it with two points in college, but... I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't think USC would lose to Arizona State right now, but... Arizona State's making it very interesting right now. They get that two-point conversion. It's 21-24. Almost end of the third. I have a whole other quarter left, and it just seems like USC <clears throat> has slowed down. They haven't scored any points, really. 
into the second half, and Arizona, little by little, has just been scoring. <coughs> Yeah, they're in Arizona, and they're playing in Colorado next week, so it makes sense because it's probably going to take like two weeks to fix that whole Coliseum. Two boxes. Swanson. Second relic there for you, Rex. That's a two point conversion, guys. He got it. This is on channel 11, which is Fox. Whatever Fox channel is yours, Eric. And whoa, we got a double rip card. Hell yeah. It's been a while since we got a rip card. So this one's 34 to 39. We got O'Neill Cruz on one side, Andrew McCutcheon on the other side, guys. So double rip. Inside this card will be an exclusive mini parallel or an exclusive mini wood, mini metal, one of a kind sketch, or a red mini autograph. Double rip card for the Pirates. And that's Kev. Sheesh. That's crazy, dude. Well, I doubt you'd want me to rip this, but maybe you can sell it for some good money. Oh, wait. You don't sell anything, Kev. You should rip this yourself, actually. Have fun with it. Yeah, there's still another whole quarter left. Well, actually, sorry. There's, only, there's still nine minutes in the third. Good lord. There's still so much time, actually. in-game reporter. Dustin May. <clears throat> Walker. Yoshida. Tessutino. I 
has a great comeback. But an avalanche and put up 30 points. Good shot. Oh, I'm nowhere near the Coliseum area when I drive, so I should definitely have no traffic. <laughs> Alright, last two stacks are here, guys. The babe. And we got a Beebs. Uh, this was numbered at 25. Shane Bieber for the Guardians autograph. Sanford. Volpe. Alvarez rookie. Charlie Green. Victor Wibanyama. And we got an Anthony Rendon relic for the Angels. Benny Kenneth. Alrighty guys, let's quickly do a little recap on some stuff. <clears throat> I think everything else is all the same, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it like this. Alright, here we go guys. So like I said, uh, we got Dustin May, The Knot, Swanson, Seeger, Vaughn, Chambers, Rutschman, Jimenez, Alonzo, Merrifield. Uh, that's a non-baseball relic there of Bentlift, Gonsolin, Bell, Diaz, Mancini, Wright, Staley, Endeavors, Dijon, Snell, Morrell, Stone Street, Pham, and it has a frame in of Rendon, Thomas, Tucker, Ripken Jr., Ichiro. You get a mini stained glass though of uh, Togleo. We did get one rip card, which is Brett Beatty to 199. And we got a double rip card, McCutcheon and O'Neill Cruz to 39. We got an autograph of Nems, a Rosarania, Nicholas, Fowler, Hall, Schultz, <laughs> and Beaver number to 25. So thank you guys. Uh, that was Pikachu number three in the books, jazbeescasebreaks.com.